One of the things that the heart that scientifically can be measured is the heart field. So magnetometers measure magnetic fields. And so there's a field given off by your heart that's 100 times stronger than the one given off by your brain. So as I mentioned, when we're more coherent, when we're in a certain vibration, we tend to attract more of that like vibration. So this is why if we're in the dark heart light and there's just a lot of chaos and incoherence, we tend to attract more drama, more work situations that don't work out, relationships that don't go anywhere, whatever it is, friendships where we get screwed over, wherever it is. So what's amazing about this heart work, as we progress and we get to the devoted heart, which is where we become more devoted to the inner world. So it's thing, you know, unconditional love, for compassion, care, living a peaceful life matter the most to us. But here's the crazy part, because we're in such a high level of coherence, things tend to work out better. And I talk about that. I talk about the devoted heart in the world of commerce and give examples of how businesses can work out better and projects because you're communicating so clearly and from this place where you're finding unity. And it's just such a practical way to turn on your intuition and to make better decisions. So things actually work out more and more without that pushing and that trying so much. You are just a different energy. You embody this. And this isn't like a woo-woo thing. You can measure it with scientific instruments. And you become literally more magnetic. You literally have just a different type of intelligence that you have access to. What about when people, obviously you can't know what's really going on behind the scenes for stuff you see on social media, but when people, it looks like things are going well for them, but you know, they have nothing, there's no consideration to their heart or, you know, any of these stages, they're just kind of like working hard, grinding and this kind of thing. Are, are you suggesting that you could do that, but if you align yourself with your heart, then you could achieve goals that also feel more aligned with your heart because just the idea of, of achieving t for the sake of achieving doesn't necessarily mean you're going to feel successful. You may look successful, but you're not necessarily going to feel successful. So we live in a world of delusion. Most of society reflects the dark heart and the propelled heart. You can create any type of illusion that you want and so in our world, ego can also take you very far to a point, right? You know, pride goeth before a fall. But on the inside, you can be suffering more than anyone on earth could ever feel or realize. You're in true darkness. You are in true, oh my gosh, I have all the money and all the fans and all the followers and everything I ever want. And I have never felt so empty and so lonely in my life. So and that's almost are, worse because it's like you can't even achieve your anything else. You've gotten it all and you still feel that way. At least when you don't have it all, you still delude yourself into thinking, well, I just need to have more money. I just need to get, you know, more success. So not only do we live in a world of illusion, but what the Bhagavad Gita also talks about is that we're all in a sense in our own personal reality. So you have, you know, we have to ask ourselves, what is the most important thing in our life? Like, how do we define success? And I talk about this in the devoted heart. There's a different way that we can define success. And I define it as living um, more from your heart. Heart-based living means your words, your actions come from your heart. And when you live that way, it's not just like, oh, that sounds nice. You actually do feel more connected. You feel more fulfilled. You feel like, oh my gosh, like I'm connecting and supporting others and, um, you know, living this life. And then what I've experienced in my personal world is that my relationships become more successful. You know, I've been able to create this credible family, which was nothing like what I experienced growing up with so much love with my kids and my husband. We've been able to create financial abundance when we came together, you know, back in the daylight, I, I, you know, explain this. All right. Share this in this book in our last podcast. I couldn't even pay my rent in New York. It was in concrete and I longed for more nature. We were able to just keep creating. And then we bought a farm in Hawaii. We doubled it the next year. So this isn't like, you know, airy fairy stuff. There's a real practical nature. The other thing like is the heart is right here. Boom. This intelligence, this is the middle of your life. I feel like a lot of spiritual teachings and meditations are disassociative. Let me imagine I'm somewhere else 
to relax my body. Let me imagine I'm in a waterfall. I'm not making fun of that. I'm just saying it may relax you. But what we're talking about and with the heart aligned meditation is it brings you into your power right here in the present moment. This is where you create your highest health. This is where you create real success. This is where you take those opportunities. And in that moment, you walk into the room and people are drawn to you and you, you take that opportunity. You ask that person to connect. You go on that person's podcast. You meet that person, right? It's right here. So the heart is between the crown chakra and the root chakra. So we want to be up in the crown all the time. <laughs> we don't want to just be earthly. We want to be here. Both we are spiritual beings and earthly beings. It's all a continuum of energy, right? We're having this earth experience now, but the soul goes on and it goes on. So the heart is the gateway, the gateway to our highest potential. Thank you so much for watching. Just FYI, we post a new video almost every day. So make sure you comment and subscribe below so you don't miss out on anything. And if you enjoyed this video, I think you're really going to love this one as well. And if you ever want to see a playlist of all of my podcasts or all of the plot twists or any other category of videos, you can find links to those in the description below.